Hi, my name is Jorge Montoya. Please welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to delineate crops from drone orthophotos with QIS. Okay. Um, the main motivation of this tutorial is that I was working with some coding with to do the um, crop delineation with machine learning. But then I found that I can do it easily with some raster combinations of a normal orthophoto in QIS. Okay, so for that purpose, um, I'm going to develop this tutorial. So what we are going to find is we are going to define some polygons of a certain crop type or maybe a crop stage because actually this is mostly related to the to the healthiness of the crop. I mean, so how if it is um, let me. I mean, if the crop is uh, flowering, or if this, the crop is green, or if the crop is ma is mature, mature, me, mature. Okay, so we can define or whether it is um, barren soil, okay, or if the crop is has died and it, and it, or is barren soil. Okay, so let's start. You are going to the you are going to on the description of this video. You are going to find this drone orthophoto of a resolution of 5 cm okay so here we have the drone orthophoto and then we are going to do an index okay this is a quite a um, new index because we are going to add red plus blue divided by green okay this is will be our new index and you can call it hatari index because actually and i haven't i haven't searched if that index actually was published before however it works to define vegetation okay to delineate vegetation okay so we just have this plus this divided by this okay so and then we are going to use it as Hatari index, Hatari index. Okay, great. So and this will be our index. Okay. I have searched over the over the values of this index. So I have searched over here, so color classify two to eight to eight. Classify. Okay. Okay, I have searched over the values in order to define which are the values that define a healthy crop, which are the values that define um, mm, which are the values that a dry crop, okay, or a barren soil. Okay, so and these values are um, these values for that for these ones are that for a healthy crop the values are come from 0 to 1.5 a dry crop uh, i mean a crop that is drying it will be from 1.5 to 1.9 and then from 1.9 to 30 will be whether dry i mean absolutely dry crop or barren soil so here we are going to do a reclassification so let's say here we are going to reclass and then we are going to use saga reclass by table okay of the Hatari index and then here say okay great so from 0 to 1.5 this will be our healthy crop and this will be half a value of 10 from 1.5 to 1.9 will be just uh, a drying crop or like a crop that is drying um, okay and then from 1.9 to 30 we will we, we, whether dry crop or barren soil Okay, and then we have to give a value for no data values. Let's say that is minus 10, 
and then here we are going to save it to file and then here this will be uh, Hatari index read class okay save and run and then we have to give an operator run here okay so one we have it reclass so we are going to close this and then we are going to we are here we are going to see the the different types i mean this will be if we compare with the drone or photo this will be our healthy crop this will be um a non-healthy crop maybe the difference is here okay so here will be a healthy crop this will be an unhealthy crop or a drying crop okay while some parts will be kind of more active okay you can play around with the index so in order to have the like the perfect uh, intervals that match your analysis okay and then what we are going to do but however uh, we are interested to define to define polygons i mean and if you want to define polygons you you face something here you are going to find some pixels that are actually inside the other uh, some pixels from different categories that will be kind of parasite i mean it will it won't mean that here in this pixel you will have a drying crops while in the neighborhood it will be healthy crop okay so that actually is not the case so by some by some um, we have to get rid of those uh, lonely pixels for example for example this one this one this one and this one as well in order to get rid of that we are going to do a filtering and in this case we are going to use the majority that is a uh, as well a tool from saga Yis. and this filter actually looks for the neighbor i mean this filter actually do not apply the value of the pixel itself but it actually looks for the neighbor pixel the neighboring pixels and get the most common value okay the most common value okay so here we can do circle of three this will be enough for our uh, purpose and then we select here save to file and this will be reclass majority save run okay we wait a little bit and with this filter we get rid of the of the parasite pixels and then we can delineate better our polygons otherwise you will have a polygon just for this pixel and you know that is that it do not represent what you see in reality okay still you have some pixels around but so far we have a more clean raster and then if we compare with the source orthophoto yeah the classification is, is is good i mean not the filter has not has not applied or has not decreased the quality of our reclassification okay so what we want is polygon so we are going to use polygonize from gdal polygonize from gdal from the to the majority and the attribute type will be called type and this will be called save to file and this will be crop types mm -hmm. that's it nothing else we run this okay and then we are going to define polygons to every crop type that we have okay Okay, 
bit, so we have to wait a little bit. Um, if you have done this without the filtering, actually you will, you will get like a lot of polygons more, I mean a lot of small polygons. Okay, with that we get just fewer polygons, okay, great. So these are the polygons, so zoom to layer. And in our case, we are going to, oh, sorry, Oops. properties. And on properties, we are going to do categorize by type, by type, classify, and then we are interested in just number 10 and number 20 because this is healthy crop and drying crop, okay? So and here we are going to select this one, okay? And then here we are going to decrease the distance. And then this will be with a point hash. And then here as well, we are going to decrease the distance. Okay, and then we can compare with our uh, we can compare with our drone ortho photos and then say we can see okay great so this is the this is what I mean what I wanted to define from the beginning like having the polygon of the crop type and in this case even that I only wanted to define the most healthy one but I I get the polygon of the drying crop, okay? And as well, I have the barren soil. It's also, it's also defined as a polygon. Okay, so I hope that this tutorial will be helpful for you, for your analysis. Then from that, you can get the, the area. You can then, if you have many many uh, uh, drone ortho photos you can see how is the difference i mean like the the dynamics of the crop plant or oh, many other uh, topics um with just one um, simple filtering and indexing okay my name is Olmo Montoya from Hattari labs i hope that this tutorial will be helpful for you uh don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel to share our blog if you define if you find it interesting and we hope we can see you in more tutorials uh, webinars and courses okay have a great day bye bye bye